Five out of ten NPP flag bearer aspirants will not advance to the next stage of the contest, with three being highly favoured by posters to secure place in the next stage. Vice President Dr. Baumia hinted at following Nane Kufuado's footsteps as party flag bearer declaring his quest on May 2, 2023. Political analyst and poster Musa Danko believes his chances of winning the Super Delegates Congress are highly promising. I don't think there is doubt about him winning this round of, of, of elections. These delegates are the top notch delegates of the party, which invariably he has control over. Top notch of the party, which he regularly interacts with, or he can do so quite easily. Dr. Baumia faces strong competition from former minister of trade and industry, Alan Sherman Ting, who has been a four-time contender and a runner-up in his three previous attempts. He is expected to be among the top five contenders. He recently resigned as Minister of Trade as well. So he would have had a lot of interactions and engagement with government appointees that are going to vote uh, this uh, Saturday, as well as the top party hierarchy. I mean, there's somebody that he, they would know, and he would also know them. So on, on that basis, I think you could create you or put him together as part of the establishment of MPP. Member of Parliament for Sin Central and businessman Kennedy Japong is the first candidate on the Special Delegate Congress ballot paper, presenting a formidable challenge due to his fearless approach and undefeated electoral history. His absence in the top five would be surprising. If you were to base his chances entirely on his utterances, then you could say that they may decide not to give him the chance. But I don't see them doing that. But if you don't put him among the top five, I don't think MPP will have peace. Former General Secretary of the Party, Kribne J. Japong, could cause a stare. Given his history with the party and campaign strategy, the Executive Director of Global Info Analytics suggests his fate is unpredictable. Kobe Japan is a very tricky one. He is much popular within the lower rank of the party because of the campaign he's been waging as an, a reformer and to some extent crit critique of the government during his campaign and how things have been run. It is not a campaign that will win favor among these super delegates. In less than 24 hours, 961 delegates will vote to reduce the presidential aspirants to five at the Special Electoral College as a prelude to the National Conference on November 4 to elect the party's flag bearer for the 2024 general elections. Noble Crosby Annan, TV3 News, Accra.